Okay, not for nothing, I just had like a huge freak out. I thought I lost my phone. I went back to look for it. And it turns out that I'm using my phone the entire time. Come on, pimp, come on, pimp. Like I am definitely getting lost in the sauce. Okay, so I just lost the entire, like, all of the footage for today's video. But, but hold up, pimp, hold up, cause good thing I'm a boss. Like, no joke, I completely lost all of the footage. <laughs> and you see this? This is the culprit. After shooting all day, I can an error that the card is unusable. So yeah, that was that. But pimp ain't no reason to be a dead SD card. You know what I mean? Chuck it and move on. And now, since I don't have another video plan, I had a thought. I realized I have a camera in my pocket that has the best workflow out of every camera I've owned. The iPhone 13 Pro. And now, to keep it real, to keep it 100p, the iPhone is far from perfect. It's stupidly over sharp. And it's also a hit and miss when it comes to handling skin tones. And the stabilization is eh. And now even the, oh shoot. <laughs> it was like legit about the balls. But anyway, anyway. But yeah, even though there's not much we can do about the skin tones and the over sharpening, there is something we could do about the stabilization. Uh, let's uh, get this down. I don't know what I would do if the Sony fell from up there all this is the Hohem iSteady X2 cell phone gimbal. And now to be real, I had it for a while and just haven't tested it. But then I saw something else. And that is, okay, so I just realized that I've been saying the name of the company wrong the entire time. It's not Zion, it's Hewen. So yeah, when you hear me say Zion, just think Hewen. Can you guys do that for me? You, you do, I'm trusting you, I'm trusting. The Zion Crane M3 Gimbal. One's a hundred bucks and the other is about 400 bucks. And now quick disclaimer, Hohem did send me this gimbal, but you know how thugs do. They are not telling me what to say at all in this video. Like nobody, cause I'm a pimp. So do not get it twisted. And now with the Zion Crane M3, I bought this with my own monies. I saw it, my, my boy Jason Morris did a video on it and it was awesome. So I had to go ahead and cop one and at least like see if it was for me. And I'll hop in straight out of the box and right away you could tell the difference. But again, they both do the exact same thing. $100 versus $400. The biggest question is, do you really need a gimbal for your cell phone? All right, and we are hopping right on the Hohem iSteady X2. And now, how, how is it? How, how's the quality? How, I'm sure it looks stable. I'm using the front facing screen of the iPhone 13 Pro with, and I'm also shooting in 4K 30. And now one of the pros about shooting with the gimbal is hands down the fact that you can actually sit it down and like point it to where you want to go and also you can also just use a bunch of different techniques as well for like 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 the drift come on that shot was boss Woo! it is a bit of a wet day today <laughs> which brings me to a con mechanical gimbals are usually not waterproof maybe splash proof but definitely not waterproof. <laughs> and now the whole him I said he is holding up pretty good so far. It is solid. It's light, easy to use. You can even turn it vertically like with, with a tap, like with a tap of a button. Like look at this. There it is. Oh snap. Oh snap. But then we gotta turn it back because that's not how we roll it. <laughs> All right, now using the back camera, how are we looking? It's sitting down on the iSteady Pro 2 or, I, why am I keep saying iSteady Pro? We're gonna do a quick stabilization test on the Hohem for right now before we switch to the $400 
Zion Crane M3. Now, if you see that I'm blinking a lot, it's because the water is like getting in my eye. <laughs> All right, now we're on a wide angle lens, so you should be able to see stabilization a bit better. All right, how is it? And if you can't tell, I also took off the other beanie and just going with the one beanie. <laughs> how we looking? Okay, how was that? <laughs> And we're gonna have to do it again with the Zion Ukraine M3. Dang it. <laughs> And now, no lie, this thing feels solid. Like, it is just so good. Like, as soon as you turn it on, easy setup, just pop it in, calibrate, and you're good to go. And when you calibrate, it'll do like some shakes to kind of figure out like the weight of what you just put on. And it is, you, you could just go. It is really, really like solid. Now one of the things that the Zion Ukraine M3 has over the Ohim iSteady X2 is the simple fact that you can press three times and turn it around. Like, I freaking love that. Look, look. Hey, look, see, and you're good. You're good to go, pal. Okay, go. How are we looking? I feel like the Zion is much more stable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how was that? <laughs> that scooter is too loud. <laughs> Sounds like a piece of crap. That's not, that's not gangster. Come on, man. I forgot to say too, man, this thing is so cool because it also has a freaking like, like light on it. Hold up, look, come on, like tell me that's not, can you see that light? Like look, you could adjust it too, look. Being real, that light on the side is like, that is straight false. And now overall, what do you guys think of one, vlogging on a cell phone, and two, do you need a gimbal for your cell phone if you're vlogging, or if you're just doing content creating at all, like in general. Okay, how was that? $400 versus $100. And also when it comes to a cell phone, do you really need a gimbal? And now after looking at the footage, I gotta say that they both did really well. I mean, at one point, even tell which shot I shot which gimbal on. Like being real, they did really well. Like I really have no complaints with either gimbal besides the price. But I will say one of the biggest cons with the Hohem gimbal is if you want a bigger load, meaning if you want to add like an extra lens or anything like that to your phone, this may not cut it. It cannot handle adding extra lenses to your cell phone. So that is the only con for the Hohem iSteady 2. And then for the Zion Crane M3, it's a bit too much for your cell phone. But if you are looking to upgrade in the future or if you have a cell phone with a DSLR, like the Sony ZV-E10, the Sony ZV-1, then this would actually be perfect for you because it's so interchangeable, it's easy, it's quick, balance setup is not that difficult. Yeah, I would say this would be for you. But yeah, if you're just using a cell phone, pimp, go with the cheaper option. There's no reason to spend, just no reason to spend $400. This is more like a Lambo and this is like a Honda Civic. They both get you from point A to point B. And then overall, do you really need a gimbal though for your cell phone? That's debatable. I would say if you are doing a lot of walking and vlogging or even running, then yeah, you might want a gimbal. And also I will say if you are trying to do like a lot of cinematic shots, then yes, a gimbal definitely helps. But anyway, Pimp, what do you guys think of the gimbals? I would love to know. Also, let me know if you do any filming with your cell phone. That is it for the review. Your boy Sky Money is out. <laughs>
sucks. <laughs>